everyone, LP here. And uh, hopefully, hopefully this video does not get taken down. <laughs> so in this last in this last edition of my conversations with a socialist, one of the questions that uh, his followers had lined up for him was, "How does it feel to wake up every morning knowing that you have to shoot your neighbor?" We all know that's bunk. We all know that's complete bunk. But we uh, we. We addressed it. We addressed it like two adults. It was very nice talking to Carter. I'll probably be on his Twitch again sometime in the future. Uh, but, uh, you know, I don't, want, I don't want these young people to get sensory overload. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so this episode is about the possibility of having to pew pew your neighbor, which hopefully never happens. Also, don't forget, guys, these, this video series is brought to you by PrepStock, PrepStock.net. Go there, get your tickets. Nebo, North Carolina, October 12th through the 13th. Yeah, all the big names, all the big sponsors are going to be giving away all sorts of stuff to these guys just for being there. It's going to be pretty awesome. I think I'm going to make a video about the, the buckets that uh, Refuge Medical sent us to give away. <laughs> That's right. Uh, let's see here. Um, also, <laughs> we checked the books. Accounting term, we're in the red. That means bad. So uh, we're not making anything off on this. In fact, we owe money on it. So if you guys could help us out, we're going to leave a link down there for... Uh, uh, it's an Amazon affiliate link. It's not mine. <laughs> Carter. And uh, <laughs> help us out buying like coffee, stir sticks, you know, uh, teas, cups, things like that. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm going to stick this in every one of the videos. Just got back from filming the intros. Watch the chat. Watch the chat that's on the screen. It's absolutely hilarious. All right, here we go. Build a better world. Yeah. Together. Yeah. So that's yeah, my agreed. that's my my big thing, right? Is I think preppers. Uh, a lot of the prepper community focuses on the idea of like, man, I'm gonna have to shoot my neighbor, or if my like you said, the neighbor comes knocking, asking for help. Yeah. Like, what harm is there in me helping that person? You know. Yeah. Oh no! And so, well, uh, I think I think we're b both looking at this from different perspectives. Okay. okay? So, and and uh, I'm trying to understand your perspective, but there's just not a lot of we we kind of we kind of think of things um, situationally. You know, if somebody comes knocking on my door, they need help. Mm -hmm. I actually have a plan to help that person. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, one that that will not endanger myself or that person, but once again, it's situational too. You know, uh, what, so you're, you've got a neighbor, let's say you've got a neighbor. Okay. okay. Let's I'm going to ask you what you're going to do. Okay? okay. Um, you got a neighbor and he lives in your cul-de-sac and he never really talks to anybody, but you know, he's pretty shifty. He goes out in the middle of the night. He doesn't do okay. anything during the day. You've never seen him. You know, you see his, his little sister mowing the lawn because he's just not, it's, that's beneath him. You know, okay. he's he yeah. just generally appears to be either a shifty or a, uh, for lack of better words, a good person. Okay. Okay. I mean, he is, but that's the way he appears. So hell breaks loose. The apocalypse is here, you know, and it's a, it's life or death. And yeah, it doesn't have to be, it can be an economic he, collapse, right? Let's say that. Either. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he comes and he bangs on your door and he says, Hey man, listen, we don't have any food. Can you help us out? Uh-huh. You know, and then you start watching his body language and all he's doing is trying to look around you to see what's inside your house. Okay. He's looking at your house at like entry points. And if you've ever, ever dealt with any real criminals, you know exactly how they act. Okay. So, and if you haven't, I understand, but he's that type of person and he's doing that. And you tell him, yeah. Uh, and then now you have to decide, do I give him food and, and make him understand that I do have food or do I tell him to go away because I don't have any food and either way, is he coming back? And now I have to decide, do I give him anything that he can use against me later? Okay. And now I'm going to be worrying about like, is this guy coming back? And now I've got to come up with a plan to deal with this guy. And oh, by the way, he might have to take a walk up the hill with me and the shovel and I'll walk back with the shovel. You know, those uh -huh. are all the things that people, that people's minds go through. So with all that said, the guy comes to your door, he's shifty, he's looking around, okay. you know, you can tell generally he's got something going on in his head. You're just not sure what it is. Okay. What do you do? What do you do? I think in that situation, I, I mean, considering that's like a point zero zero one percent, like I probably wouldn't even care or matter because of the the fact that matters. Like I'm focusing if I'm preparing for that, I've like I've got some like obsession issue, right? Like I'm a, I'm obsessing over 
the chance that Survival. I develop leprosy in 2024, right? Essentially. No, that's, right. No, you, you, you just spun off in the left field. But, but no, on. wait, wait, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. What would I really do in that situation is like, logically, I should just give them because they're already shit scoping out the place. If I give them food, I have a chance to, you know, garner goodwill. Right. Because if they're already scouting it, okay. already doing whatever, okay. there's already a violent thing. I can already cause tension. It doesn't mean anything. Then my next move would probably be to with my other nine neighbors who are maybe normal, we'll call uh, and not shifty. Yeah. I would just work with them like, hey, we should watch out for this guy. That's a communal policing. Right. We're going to neighborhood watch whatever, mm -hmm. because that okay. is the best way, because no matter what that situation, something bad happens. Either I have to kill someone. I don't want to do that. I have to live with paranoia. I don't want to do that. You know, so the the only solution would be to go with my community and raise, give the guy whatever he wants, right? Then, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll help you out. Because there is a chance he's just neurodivergent. He's autistic. There's a chance that he worked from home those whole times. There's a chance that he has a disability. Yeah. You know, there's a, those are just yeah. as likely as him being a criminal as he could come up to my door mm -hmm. and have, you know, Parkinson's, which caused him to shake and look like he was nervous, yeah. you know, or something. Gotcha. So I think okay. that would be the best way because I don't know. I never know about that person. I'm going to lead with, gotcha. I'm going to so, lead with kindness. So listen to me carefully. I'm going to tell you two things. Mm -hmm. You're a prepper. Yeah, of course. Everyone's prepared to a little okay. bit. Hold on. Hold on. And you're a prepper because now you have a plan. Yeah, of course. You didn't think about it last week. You didn't think about any things. That's all preparedness is. You yeah, yeah. I, I don't disagree. Situation. I, that's it. Yeah, that's not that, my, that's yeah, yeah. Of course. I don't disagree with that at all. I think everyone, like I said, should have, you know, a little bit of medicine, extra medicine is always good, things like that. I think it's good to think about, like, where do you, you know, go if there's a fire? Like, I had wildfires, you know, growing up to Pacific Northwest all the time. Yeah. But that's mm -hmm. much different than, like, what my, you know, my concern is. My concern is with people, which we've talked about, is the the people pushing me that I'm going to need yeah. to shoot my neighbor, that I'm going to do it. They're just reinforcing yeah. this terrible idea or that World yeah, War Three uh, is here. We Yeah, we should probably close this one off because it's honestly, it's a dead subject. Because, you know, it's it's like I said, I'd be careful where you get your information from. And anybody who thinks that they have to, like I woke up this morning thinking about how I'm going to kill my neighbor, they they might have some issues. They might yeah. have some issues because that's not how I woke up this morning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, here's actually uh, a really you know, good question. That This is actually a good one. Do you think it's dangerous and a net harm when online preppers focus more on prepping with gadgets and prepackaged supplies than actually urging viewers to focus on real world applications of self sustainability, gardening, mechanic work, etc. Yes. Okay. Yeah. In the prepper community, they call that skills. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, you know, the, the simplest one, which I always think is the cheesiest one, because, you know, yeah, I was a Boy Scout and stuff, uh -huh. you know. Can you make a fire? Can you make a fire from nothing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the evolution of man was dependent on his ability to create fire. Uh, am I in the woods once a week turning around to learning how to make a fire? No, I'm not. I know how to do it. I'm very good at it. And by the way, uh, I can get, if I go to the $1.25 tree store, I can get two big lighters for $1.25 yeah, and yeah. I can make fire. So there are some skills that are like, whatever, dude, you know, uh -huh. I don't need to carry around a full steel with me when I can have a couple of lighters. It's not a big deal. Um, but yes, there are skills, you know, uh, uh, gardening, animal husbandry, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the one that you talked about from, uh, from uh, what's, what's his name there? Wang, Wangle Star? Wangle Star. A sharp, how to sharpen a knife or axe. Those yeah. are important skills. Most yep. people can't even do that, you know? Um, so yes, skills, absolutely 100% agree because with skills, you can do almost anything. And God mm -hmm. forbid there's the apocalypse. Believe it or not, skills are a barterable asset. Yeah. Yeah. That's, the, I mean, that's labor, right? Labor is the most, there is no capital without labor, right? In the, in our world, yeah. labor is the most, the number, it's the first thing. There's no money without labor. There's nothing, right? And the moment we yep. deviate from that, like things get. Even time now. and skills. Yeah. But listen, hey, I appreciate talking. It was it was a good conversation. Um, yeah, I think uh, you you aren't the person that I was focused on at all in this. So it was interesting to hear from somebody who is a, I would say like a uh, a relatively normal prepper, right, in comparison to other content creator preppers. I like to think so. <laughs> yeah. So I I appreciate you coming on. Hey, listen, maybe we'll uh we'll have a a more political or something philo philosophical discussion in the future. Yeah, I'd like that. I like that. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Well, have a good night. You too. We'll talk to you later. Everybody, Bye -bye. good night.
great guest. I gave him a follow. He was super nice. That was great. I think that guy is okay. I agree, I, but my video wasn't even about him. That was what was funny. Oh, I didn't ask one thing. Oh, I didn't ask one thing. I wanted to ask what he said, my misinformation, how I was a grifter. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Are you still around? I have one more thing. Bro's money hungry. No, I'm not. Yes, okay. I actually, I thought of one more thing. All right, hold on. Let me turn the sound off this. Go ahead. It's okay. All right. We we did have one question. I should have I should have opened with this, but I didn't want it to like, obviously, like we're, we were talking really nice. I didn't want it to sound hostile because I don't mean it hostile. But you said that I was gotcha. doing misinformation or disinformation. And what would be the misinformation or disinformation that I was doing? Okay. Well, what I actually said was misinformation and disinformation in your generation sells. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I just, okay. uh, you know, the logical conclusion <laughs> would be that I was, well, doing uh, so, you know, the things, the things that I focused on was, uh, I, 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 maybe I was being too literal. Like I said, if, if, if there's any one thing that I could give you just man to man, getting mm -hmm. rid of that whole grifter, word uh well one it's from i think like the 1920s or something like yeah, that. yeah so it's, it's old yeah but uh you know it's uh it almost it almost and 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 i don't think i don't think it's true but at the time i had to do my research it almost seems as if like you're a little you were a little butthurt for like not making as much money as these people i mean i don't make that money but I, hmm. I kind of got that. But I also know that it was more focused on the gold scam. But even though the way gold is done in the prepper community has nothing to do with the like the bucket scam that you were showing. Yeah. You but, know? So that it, it, okay. miss as in misleading, dis as in dishonest. Yeah, you know, that's, I, but that's I think they are misleading, the thing, you know? right? They are misleading you know? and they are there. They are dishonest. So, so so I, I little did a little digging on you, and I wasn't going to bring it up, but you came back. You came okay. back for more, Yeah, man. I wanted to know. I, this is a curious. Yeah, I think you know? it's good. Well, you know, so hold on a second, because one of the things that you focused on in your in your video was, and I did, so, so you know, I did not see um, your video as an attack on me. I, I really did enjoy your yeah, video. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's very informational. Uh, but, uh, and, and the, the thing about the max, oh, let me, let me tell you about the max real quick, just real quick. Yeah. That video that you referenced about them, about the 10 things you need to buy yeah, yeah. Uh, from cash so nobody can track you. And then it gave you Amazon links. I know <laughs> that, that was the, that was the tip. That was the icing on the cake, man. I was just like, yeah, you, you call those guys out, but here's the thing. When we start to talk about making money on the internet, uh -huh. okay. You need to be very careful about doing it because, you know, after I do a little research on you and everybody's uh -huh. like, what guess, you guess what number two is? Oh, come make sure you like and subscribe my, my, my videos. You remember that? Yeah, but I was making fun of those people. I know that. I yeah. know that. But here's the thing. Let's see. Um, from your video, uh -huh. where is it at here? Like, share, and subscribe. Oh, you, you like to say, make sure you join my discord. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. That's cool. That's cool. But, uh, you know, uh, I shouldn't be paying no two ninety nine for an emoji or four ninety nine to level up. And and then in one of your videos, okay. you also said that if you're not a sub, you're a peasant. True. That's real. So you're driving people to become a subscriber. Yeah, I think you know? non-subs in my community are less than dirt. I got you. I got you. And no, here's the thing. And then you actually have sponsorships. Of course. I watched your sponsorship 15 minutes on a freaking watch. I know. I mean, come on. Man. I know. I got to eat. Dollars. It's a beautiful watch. Got to eat. You know. Oh, one second. The internet died. One second. You have to come back. Yeah. Oh, you have to repeat that. Your internet cut out for one second. I got you. I said, well, basically what I'm telling you is that if you're going to dish it out, you better be ready to take it.
Of course. Okay. I have because... I have one counter to that. Sure. Subscriptions and all of that are voluntary, entirely voluntarily. And I would rather milk money out of a company via a sponsorship, meaning they are voluntarily. Oh, did I, did I lose connection? Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. So I would rather milk money out of a a a sponsorship voluntarily sponsoring me than yep. using what I would call like I don't get any the the discount or anything. I've never done an affiliate link anything, right? That's not an affiliate yeah. link. That's a discount for my community. I got you. They're they're voluntarily giving me, right? There's a difference between that and me going, "Listen, if you subscribe to me, um you're going to get access to my Amazon links, which also give me a kickback or whatever. Maybe not even subscribe. Go to my store, Carter, whatever, dot, whatever, buy this and I will get a kickback, but you need this thing because it's going to save your life. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm tracking with you and we agreed upon that. Nobody yeah. should be saying that if you buy this gadget, it'll save your life. Of course. And no, I, no, I think no, it's no, all, like I said, all the, that. all the stuff I get is voluntary. There is no coercion. There's no convincing. When I yep. call my, my non-subs peasants, it's a joke from a big streamer named moon. Who's been friends of mine for a long time. Yeah. Right. I got you. So those are, those are things that I would say are much different or like the, the one guy saying like, share and subscribe. Yeah. I was poking fun at that because like we all do it as, mm -hmm. as, as YouTubers, right? Yeah. It's, it's a program from YouTube. Yeah. 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 It's, it's a, it's a holdover. And so I think there's a big difference and I'm a socialist, right? Like that's my political leanings. Mm -hmm. And when anybody yeah, ever know. attacks, but you make money, but you do this mm -hmm. and then go, look, you have subscribers. It's like, yeah, but who am I exploiting? Right. Socialism is about who owns yeah. the means of production, not about mm -hmm. money. Like you can be rich. No one gives a shit as long as it isn't on the backs of someone else. And if you yeah. voluntarily are like, Hey, listen, I'll give you two fifty because Twitch takes half a month. Yeah. I'm not causing them any harm, no distress. There's no expectation, right? There's nothing there that they are, you know, expecting to get out of it. It is completely voluntary. Yeah, they're expecting you to show up. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm cheaper than Netflix, you know? The amount of hours I put in content creating, streaming, it's like if, yeah. you, if you sub to me for a year, every minute of entertainment is like less than a cent. Yeah. So... I, I think the other thing that you're that you're also not thinking about too is that, you know, um, when you get to be my age, you start to realize that time is important. Yeah. No, I. And I yeah. At your age, at your age, you don't really think about it every day. You know, it's like I'm not going to get that minute back. So any minute that any amount of time that I'm spending, you know, like with my subscribers, it's all about uh, the information that's passed on to them. Yeah. You know, um, I do all the research. They ask me a question, I do all the research. I get back to them and I give them recommendations. You know. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I'll, like I said, all I'm saying is, is regardless of what your political affiliation or belief system is, yeah. if you're going to dish it out, be ready to take it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm live every day. Anybody can come in on my chat. And not expect to be knocked down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. Hey, I just wanted to know that that was something my community reminded me because I remember we were reading about, it. I was like, I, I got to know. So, all right. I got you, bro. Now it's real. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Anyways, that was fun. That was a nice guy. Legitimately, that's back to back nice guests. Also, I think he understood more about what I was saying than Gen did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could he could understand what I was trying to get across. Wait, follow me. Even I recognize I talked in circles once, mainly because it was I was trying to explain something that I couldn't. No, it's whatever. Dude, when he gooning, what did you guys do? What did you guys do? Why did you put in the questions for guest gooning? Do you goon? How are you going to goon at the end of the world, bro? Why did you guys put who's going to goon at the end of the world?